So hi, Microbe Hunter here and this here is actually pretty disgusting stuff. It might not look <laughs> very disgusting but as a matter of fact it is. This is mold, it's a fungus that I found growing somewhere in my room, in my apartment. Where? Well directly on the window um, you can see it almost looks like a little forest <laughs> growing on the rubber insulation of the window. Uh, horrible when we found that. Uh, as a matter of fact maybe not that horrible. I was quite delighted because now I finally had another specimen to put under my microscope for this very YouTube channel. Um, yeah not everyone in my family was so enthusiastic about it. Um, yeah in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, why uh, fungus is growing there and what you can do against it. So I'm going to combine a little bit of microscopy uh, but also a little bit to give you some advice of what you can do against it. Well of course I had to collect a little sample. Um, I used my tweezers, uh, scratched some of the material off and then I put it on a microscope slide together with a little bit of water and uh, I put a cover glass um, on top. And then of course I also had to wipe it a little bit because yeah it didn't uh, didn't look very nice otherwise. Well in any case if you find fungus somewhere in your apartment in your home well then this is of course a sign that there is too much moisture or too much water there. The question is now is where did the water come from in the on the window? Well um, the thing is is that it's winter right now here on the northern hemisphere. This means the window is colder and there's water condensing, water vapor um, of the apartment condensing there and uh, the fungus was forming on the the lower edge of the window because this is also where some dust was able to settle. So you had moisture and you had uh, dust which essentially is food for the mold and basically this gave it the ideal conditions uh, for, for it to grow. Now some years ago when we were moving I moved the cupboard away from the wall and I saw that the back of the cupboard on the wall was really really covered with a lot of mold directly on the window. This was actually also not a healthy thing really you don't have to reduce that and there were two reasons of why this was on the wall. Reason number one it was an external wall. So this means um, that the wall was a little bit colder than the other walls inside the room because uh, yeah, it was an external wall and this basically means that again water was able to condense. Yeah and that's now basically under the microscope and you can see the nice mycelia, the cells of the fungus and also the spores and those spores are actually the things that you want to avoid because if, if you inhale them yeah, it's not so healthy and in some people a lot of these spores can cause allergies. But now back a little bit to the fungus on the wall. Yeah so it was an external wall and therefore it was a little bit colder. Water was able to condense and the second problem was that the cupboard was really close next to the wall so there, there was not enough air circulation behind the cupboard and this means that the moisture was able to collect there. So if you have a cupboard yeah, move it away a few centimeters from the back of the wall to allow any um, yeah, moisture that might form also to escape uh, much more easily. Well uh, now a little bit about the uh, videos and the pictures that I uh, made here. Uh, most of the time I used 40 times or 60 times uh, objective um, and it was a mix of different uh, molds because I, there were different species on there. I could see the different appearance but sometimes I simply scratched off some of the material and put it on the microscope slide so sometimes there is a mix here. And uh, those spores what they do of course is they spread now over the air um, and they're able to settle down and when they find another nice place uh, to grow on with a lot of moisture with some nutrients after all they're hydrotrophs yeah and then of course uh, you can have a new fungus growing there. Well yes I cleaned everything up a little bit of uh, disinfectant also works there's hydrogen peroxide um, in some of the disinfectants that you nowadays uh, can buy uh, to disinfect your hands because of the pandemic that's going on right now also works against uh, um, against spores and fungi. Well I think uh, that's pretty much all I want to say right now. Do leave your comments behind maybe if you also have a uh, some problems at home with uh, fungi growing somewhere. Yeah you want to avoid it uh, of course uh, but maybe it's also a good uh, opportunity to put a little bit of this stuff under the microscope. All the best, uh, happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.